Can TikTok ruin songs? I know at least once you've seen on Twitter or in YouTube comments or on Facebook or on whatever social media, somebody complaining about how TikTok ruined a song. Well, today we're gonna break that down. My name is Patrick CC. Make sure you're hydrated while you're watching this video. First, what is a TikTok song? Well, technically there isn't such thing as a TikTok song, but most songs that go viral on the app are synonymous with the term TikTok song. Some examples of those might be... Also, I know you've seen the comment, only people who aren't from TikTok can like this. But what's even the point? Is there some sort of award for discovering a song outside of a specific app? You want a trophy or something? I don't really understand the elitist mentality behind that. I mean, I guess if you're an A&R and you discovered a song before TikTok hit it, you know, considering that's your job to find music and find artists before they blow up, maybe you can flex. But if you're just a normal person, ugh. Who cares? But the general argument that people are making when they say that TikTok ruined a song for them, for them, remember that, is in their brain when they hear the song, they're just thinking of cringy TikTokers dancing in a really cringy way to said song. But my simple and kind of dumb counter argument to that is TikTok can only ruin a song for you if you're on the app for multiple hours or just if you're on the app in general, just scroll, just scroll by. And if you don't like cringy videos of people dancing to popular songs, then why the hell are you on TikTok? Because that's what the bulk of the content is on there. Plus, if you don't use the app, then you wouldn't even know that the song went viral on there in the first place. I've also seen people comment something along the lines of, little kids come up to me and say, that's a song from TikTok and that just totally ruins it for me. But little kids are gonna listen to popular music anyways, whether they heard it on the radio or on YouTube or from their older sibling. And also who gives a single shit about what little kids are listening to and why they're listening to it? And why does little kids finding enjoyment in music or anything else bother you in any way? Who are you? Why do you care? TikTok is actually really good for the music industry and it's pretty hard to find a popular song that doesn't have a presence on the app. And the user base on the app actually is really supportive to all artists and even upcoming artists. There's even an extremely popular series on YouTube called TikTok Songs I Bet You Didn't Know The Name Of or something like that. And it's really popular. I mean, look at the views. This is literally just one massive promotional video for artists. I mean, shouldn't we encourage people to support artists in any way that we can? Even if that means dancing for 15 seconds in a cringy way? And TikTok has a way of creating massive fan bases for artists virtually overnight. I mean, take my friend Eric Reprid, for example. He was a relatively established artist in the underground music scene or the internet music scene or whatever you wanna call it. He probably had about 100K, maybe 150K monthly listeners on Spotify, which is very good. And he probably at that point was making a decent living on his music. But then in the summer or maybe a few months before that, he started posting on TikTok videos that were not necessarily about his music, but just about music in general and maybe some little skits and just, you know, TikTok type videos. But then he went viral. And conveniently, he went viral promoting his own song and his own music. And when he dropped this song, it actually did a million streams in a week, which is something that he hasn't ever accomplished before. And it is a mighty accomplishment, I must say, especially for an independent artist. He tripled, over tripled his fan base in one week, all because of TikTok. And even if you're not super into underground artists or upcoming artists, you have to appreciate someone, anyone receiving that type of success. I think we can all agree that's a good thing. I mean, what's really the difference between kids discovering artists on TikTok versus YouTube versus SoundCloud versus Instagram versus TikTok versus Deezer versus Napster versus Pandora? I mean, what, what, what difference does it make? In my experience, the artists that have gained the majority of their fan base on TikTok generally have the strongest and most loyal fan bases. So you should want those people commenting on your videos. Who's here from TikTok? I've been on the TikTok train ever since 
Over a year ago, my friend Savage Gasp saw a ton of success on there and it totally changed his career pretty much overnight. Before that, I didn't really know how valuable it was, but as soon as I saw that happen, I knew that it was a force to be reckoned with. My perspective might be a little bit different from the casual music listener though, because I love to support smaller artists. My brand thrives on being sort of in the know or in touch with smaller artists, and I'm just known for that. So like, of course, I wanna see anything that benefits them. I just thought that this was an interesting talking point, and I always felt that TikTok ruining a song was just a silly personal problem that people have out there. If you don't like it, just scroll, just delete the app. Just, just ignore it. I mean, wh what are you doing? Come on. My name is Patrick CC, drink water.